arguably the most dominant champion the women's game has ever seen. Enter former UFC women's bantamweight champion, Rowdy Ronda Rousey. Just the biggest star in MMA up to Conor McGregor coming here, taking over. Ronda Rousey was just truly, truly something special. Ronda Rousey was just one of the biggest stars mixed martial arts has ever seen. From the debut in strike force with the quick arm bar to Jean LaBelle holding a stopwatch every time she fought. Yeah. She just had that star feel, and she had enough to share. She didn't need to use it all on herself. She could give something to me, she could give something to this guy, yeah. this guy, this guy, this guy, and there was enough. A massive fight star, a massive movie star, just a mainstream star is Ronda Rousey. Well, with respect to Amanda Nunes, you can argue that Valentina Shevchenko is the greatest women's mixed martial arts athlete of all time. And by the way, I know you've been checking out that career mode. How about Shevchenko moonlighting as a coach? I mean, if you're going to be coached by anyone, you want to be coached by this young lady right here. She has won everything that she has done. And look, you at the Performance Institute, before you get your lunch, you pop in and you see the champ. Valentina Shevchenko has the mind of a champion, but she also has the skills that have allowed for her to distance herself from the UFC flyweight division. She's a phenomenal fighter, and I'm pretty sure she's a phenomenal coach. And man, has she put her small nation of Kyrgyzstan on the world map with all of her UFC success. Another big spot in a career full of them for Valentina Shevchenko here tonight. Tale of the tape for this women's bantamweight championship fight. Now for the introductions, here is Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Championship of the world. Fighting out of the blue corner. Presenting the challenger. Rowdy. Wanda Rousey. And now, introducing the champion. Fighting out of the red corner. Presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC Women's Bantamweight Champion of the World, Valentina Bullock Shevchenko. Herb Dean, our referee Ready, for this one. Ready. Ready. Well, there can be few better backdrops for a mixed martial arts live event than this Madison Square Garden, the world's most famous arena. And you remember when we finally got here in 2016, We've been showing up strong ever since. See, every time you go to MSG, you should come with a big event. This is a phenomenal arena. This is a fantastic fight environment. New York City, baby. The city of dreams. How about the leg kick there? Beautiful. Early connection with the left from the champ. Circling to her right. Nice jab by her there. Another one for good measure. So before her reset, she doubles up on the jab. She does a fantastic job of popping that jab. Fight behind it. But now, she's finding so much success that she's landing double jabs. Oh, oh lands a hip toss now. Changes her stance. Just unable to quite find that range. Nice right hand by the chair. Oh, oh, nice. Jeez, you can hear that. <laughs> oh, now gets an underhook to get a more dominant position. Nice job by her there to land yet another takedown. I gotta think if Gilroy has the wrestling practice oh. next week, we're gonna be watching this one. I mean, 
mean, we will show it. I will pull out the projector, put it up on the wall, and say this is how you secure takedowns in a big environment. The state tournament has nothing to what this young lady's going through. to the single collar tie. Look for her now to drive uppercuts up the middle to do damage on her opponent. Well, her striking has been great tonight. Blocked her opponent pretty significantly, but you gotta think there's a little bit of disappointment that she wasn't able to get the first. She should be disappointed. <laughs> right back in the clinch. Look for the backhand to get very active. Switching stances here. Well, if you've been watching, you know her uppercut has been absolutely on point here tonight, DC. Huge shot going on right here. Oh, big left hand. Oh. Big elbow there, Lance. Oh. Just over two minutes to go in what has been a furious round one. Rousey's swelling now around her jaw, so we'll keep an eye on that storyline as this fight continues, but she has absorbed a lot of strikes to the head thus far. Well, this is as good a striking performance as we have seen from Valentina Shevchenko recently, and perhaps some of that has to do with her opponent's fear of getting taken down. Well, she can't try to go forward too much because she'll get taken down, or she's going to get countered. Valentina has shown time and time again that she can compete with the best in the world, and she can use whatever skill she chooses. But for me, it is the accuracy and the striking that usually leads the dance for the former champion. And tonight, she is showing that in spades. I'm not sure her opponent knows where she is. She's in the office. She can't possibly know where she is right now after taking such a massive head kick. to go here in what has been a competitive and action-packed first round. Yes, yeah, smart adjustment, yep. <laughs> nice strike from the bottom fighter there. Oh, reverses the position now. Beautiful work by her on the ground there. Nice job by Rousey. <laughs> Under 20 seconds now to go. Outstanding grappling battle, and now back to the feet. Huge response from the crowd. We'll see who has the advantage here. Big response from the crowd. They appreciate high-level mixed martial arts, and it's exactly what they just got between these two young women. Never seen anything like this, J.A. How in the world are these two women still standing? All right, there's the horn signifying the end of the round, and what a round it was for her. We talked about her power off the top of the show, and she certainly put it on full display there. Power is what identifies her. She got her hands going, was able to land a big shot, got the knockdown, didn't get the finish. But if she's patient, sets everything up again, maybe she'll find the finish in this round. All right, let's take a look back at some of the action from that previous round. DC, Chief among it, the big knockdown courtesy of that punch. A big knockdown off of that punch. She was flowing, letting everything go, and then she sat down on that strike that put her opponent down. It looked like the fight was over, but we do go forward. You ready to fight? You ready? Second round here. Big right hand. Kick to the body. She blocked that punch. Oh, oh she's hurt. Yep. It's a right hand. Oh, that was beautiful. Oh, my goodness. 
she got that single foul time. Big power shot there. Well, I'm not sure her hands, her striking has ever looked better. She continues to land with volume, with pace, with power. Yeah, with pace and pressure. It's, it's an overwhelming feeling being in there with her when she's fighting at this level. When everything's working, she is as good as anyone in the UFC. Tonight, she is at her peak level. Oh, how clean is that? Nice strike. All right, so a storyline developing. You see a cut has been opened around her eye. She's got a cut on her eye. She's been getting hit in that same spot. The cut's nothing too big right now. But if she doesn't protect it, it'll get a lot worse. Oh, nice. Nice. Oh, she's really starting to put together. Oh. Going out of the body with that hook. Well done there by Shevchenko. Well, we sat down with her on Thursday. She said it's all coming together, and she has put on a striking clinic tonight. Clearly her best performance in the U.S. The only danger was if her opponent could get it to the ground. She could not, and you saw how well a high-level striker can work whenever she's very comfortable. Three minutes now to go in this one. Oh, she landed again. That is a high fight IQ to continue to attack that cut. That's bleeding everywhere now. Everywhere. You know, we love smart fighters. This young lady is as smart as they come. She will not abandon this approach. She knows that it's working, and she can see the work paying dividends by looking at her opponent's face and seeing the concern every time she lands it. All right, so she continues to attack the body to great effect. Actually, some redness now underneath the elbow of her opponent. Yeah, she does a great job of attacking the body in multiple different ways. And it's starting to pay dividends for her. Short uppercut here on the clinch by Ronda Rousey. Big punch lands. Ooh. Well, we haven't really seen her famed jiu-jitsu game just yet, but of course, if it's not broken, don't fix it, and she has realized a ton of success with her striking her team. Every day, you have to get better. One percent, they say, as an athlete. She has shown that she got better every single day in her training camp because she is such a diverse striker that that big strike landed and it looks like... Back to the feet now. Way to hide that leg kick. The issue with that kick, as effective as it is, one gets checked out of the Anderson Silva situation. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. Just out of range with that right hook. All right, so we're on the feet at least for now, but you got to think at least from her standpoint, another takedown attempt is imminent. She's definitely going to be shooting another takedown attempt. It's where she wants to fight. And I really do applaud her for knowing where her strengths are and making sure she is fighting right there. Well, Rousey's lower jaw very swollen now, trying to bite down on the mountain. Maybe the best shot she's thrown tonight. Her opponents are beautiful placement on that hook. What a great effort. And there it is! Oh, my God! All right, so she gets the flush knockout here tonight. And you got to think this is going to lead to a lot of big fights the rest of the way this year. Big opportunities are presented after you have a performance like this. She did an amazing job and got a massive knockout victory. Bruce Buffer is in the octagon with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 14 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout and still the undisputed UFC bantamweight champion of the world, Valentina Bullock. 
Shevchenko. All right, so the Krizikstan-born Valentina Shevchenko, your winner here tonight, proving yet again